if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device, and all of its related projects on this channel, as you know them, are going on an indefinite hiatus. So that's it then. GW has officially killed TTS. <sighs> There's a lot to say about this. And I'm sure in the coming days, a lot of people will, but I want to focus on the positive here. Because right now, if I do anything else, I will just evolve into screaming rage and obscenity. And that's, I mean, we got plenty of that already on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, insert social media platform here, and we have plenty of that. So I'm not going to do that. The good news here is that Ruva Alphabusa is doing this of his own volition. He's making the decision that even though he might be covered by parody laws, he could still be absolutely annihilated on a channel basis because those laws have absolutely no way to protect him because they're very easily abused. And YouTube fully submits to that abuse because I don't know. I really don't know. And it sucks. But there is a silver lining here. He's not gone. This isn't the end of his projects. It's just the end of this project. He's going to take the next two episodes, the first and second part of the season finale, which have been available for a while on Patreon for free for him, and he's going to move them over to YouTube soon. So that's good, and it's going to be great. And I'm going to have a great day when those come out because I love TTS. I got into Warhammer because I love TTS so much. I started buying models for TTS. Sorry, <laughs> slip of the tongue there, but completely accurate. I started buying Warhammer models because I wanted to have something more to do with TTS because I really love this as a franchise, and I do think of it as a franchise, which is probably the reason that they're being scrapped now because it's competition for Warhammer Plus. It's the only reason I can think of it. Not just TTS, it's all of the fan animations, all of the fan content that is honestly insanely good. You look at Astaris, who was already scalped by G Games Workshop, and his stuff is good. Never going to see another one, because it's going to be paywalled. And at this point, I don't feel comfortable giving them more money. I barely feel comfortable keeping the models I have right now, because I don't really know if I want to support that company anymore. The only reason I'm not doing it flat out is because maybe there's a chance they'll fix their problems. I don't know. But what I do know is Alpha Busa and the guys at Warhams and everyone who's been working with him, supporting him, doing voice recording, editing, audio, every person involved in all of the Emperor Has a Text-to-Speech series, that entire universe of characters and voice actors and writers, all of them are not going away. It's going to be a long time before they come back because they have to find an IP that's willing to work with them. Which normally I would say is a very daunting project that would be like, okay, well, whew, that's done. But the thing is, they've already had that. The Solaris video was the company behind Solaris reaching out to Alphabusa and saying, hey, we like your stuff. Can you do an episode style around our universe? And they did that and they sponsored him because it wasn't official. But it was officially sponsored and it was brilliant. I had never even heard of that franchise until they did it. And that proves that there is a way for them to move beyond just Warhammer as their IP that they mostly work around. They can move to other IPs that are not going to try and absolutely destroy them out of a misplaced sense of jealousy that they actually have viewership and their new product doesn't yet because it's not being advertised. Literally, has anyone seen any advertisement for Warhammer Plus? At all? No, no one has. There's not any clips of any of the newest Astari projects. There's nothing out there. You might go to the community page and you see something, but you'd only do that if you are already so far down the Games Workshop rabbit hole that Warhammer 40k and Age of Sigmar are in your blood. And at that point, they don't need to advertise because they already have you. For anyone else that they want to expand their audience to, nope, nope, nothing. Maybe a few shitty mobile games. <sighs> Okay, calm me down a second. I basically went over my entire thought process on the IP change Games Workshop did and how they're essentially shooting their marketing division in the foot in the sense that their marketing division sucks horribly. Unless their entire 
and this is actually entirely possible I think about their entire marketing strategy is we are going to make mobile games that are incredibly predatory and just make a shit ton of money for very minimal effort by comparison, which is entirely possible unless that is their marketing strategy going forward and it just kind of supports the rest of the company. They have no marketing strategy. I've been looking at the comments about people on my last video and everyone's saying, including the people who live in Britain and see the physical main games workshop stores there is an advertisement they might have seen one ad one whenever a big revamp of an entire set came out one and that was only one comment that i can think of that even said that they saw that and you know i'm trying very hard not to go into ranting here but <sighs> the reason i got into warhammer was because i love tts and that's gone and I just feel like something I really grew to love has ended when I wasn't expecting it. And that really sucks. I don't blame the guys at TTS. And in fact, if anything, I will actively support them. Whatever they do next, I'm going to be there. If you want to find out about what they do next, I will put all the links below and I will show you what's going on. And I will actively crow to the world about how amazing their stuff is because spoilers that shouldn't really be spoilers. Their stuff has always been consistently good and getting better in ways that I don't even think they really need to improve, but they do anyways, and it's great. And it's done. And yes, Alpha in his video talking about why he's cutting this now did mention there's a chance they'll come back if Games Workshop starts taking their fan supported base more seriously less aggressively anti-fan aggressively anti i don't know consumer they'll go back they'll do more tts they might even finish it but after all the progress people have been telling me games workshop has been making and people did say that they made a lot of strategy changes that really positively affected the overall narrative of the game and just the narrative of what you think Games Workshop is as a company. I don't think this is something they can recover from easily. They would have to come out tomorrow and say, okay, we made a mistake. This is a balancing act. And we failed. And we're sorry and we're going to fix it. Short of that, I don't think they're going to fix it. I think they've dug themselves a hole and they're just going to keep digging because at this point, they're just jettisoning everyone who isn't actively them, which is going to backfire. But that's on them. For Alpha Busa, his biggest concern right now is whatever they do next will be monetarily destroyed by YouTube. And that's the thing. When you switch topics, YouTube doesn't like it. So the best thing you can do is hit up the links down there. I'm going to put his Twitch. I'm going to put his Twitter. I'm going to put his, I don't know, if I could find a Facebook, I'll put that. I'm going to list every single way you can follow him and all of the Warham guys. I'm going to put everyone's name down there that I can. Hit all of them. And then hit up my Discord because I know for a fact whenever anything new comes from Alpha, people will go crazy and say, Arier, Arier, you need to see this. It's amazing. And I really do actually appreciate this because I don't really find things because I'm kind of an idiot. I just don't see things. I, I miss it a lot. And it sucks. But people are on that and I get such great help finding amazing art like this. And I'm going to consider TTS art because it was beautiful and brilliant and well-written and funny in ways it didn't need to be and still was. And I just make myself sad because I realized that they're going to put out the next two episodes. Alpha is dropping them soon. And that's it. Third one's not happening. And it, it's, it's going to suck. Because it's just going to be the perpetual cliffhanger. But at the same time, it's not technically dead. So there's always a chance things might get better. I don't put much faith in the chance. But there's a chance. So again, I know I've mentioned this a few times. Do it though. Hit up the links below. Hit up Alpha. Hit up all of the guys at Warhams. Hit up their Twitch, their Twitter, their Skype. I don't know. Do you still use Skype? I, I don't know. I don't do social media well. I barely do YouTube well. I just do this for fun. And these guys 
were doing it for fun as well. They got to the point where people love their stuff and it just hurts watching that fall apart. But whatever they do next, I'm going to be there. And I know a lot of the people who are still watching at this point are going to be there. If you guys think you are going to still be there, let me know in the comments. And then more importantly, go to Alpha's Twitter. Go to Warhams and let them know they still have an audience. Because whenever Lorne from uh, Warhams decides to wake up in the Forgotten Realms with his companion Tater Tot, which um, their GM did make a joke about being what they do if they have to move away from Warhammer, I'll be there for that. I would love that. That's great. That sounds amazing. I would be there for that. That's just good. Will they do it? I don't know. Would it be fun? Yes. Would I enjoy it? Yes. Would I have any complaints? No. I would just go with it and love it because we are not fans of Warhammer first and then just liking TTS because it makes fun with Warhammer. A lot of people, and again, myself included, full disclosure, obvious disclosure, but still full disclosure, we are fans of Warhammer because we love TTS, because we love what Alpha did, because we love the world he portrayed, the characters he brought to life, because he told a compelling story with characters we really do connect with and love. And as absolutely batshit insane as they are, there's a good story arc there, and they're just so damn interesting, and I want to see what happens next, and, and I'm sad to see it go. But I still want to see what he does next. He mentioned that if they move on completely, if they create something completely original, it'll be a spiritual successor to TTS. And while it won't be the ending they wanted, it will eventually hit the ending that the characters they had needed. Won't be the same, won't be the same people. If anything, it'll probably look more like the Solaris episode, where it's not the same people. They even change up the names a bit, but it's going to be basically that. And I will be fine with that piece. I want to see where they go with this. So if you haven't already, again, links below. Hit them up. Now, more than ever, that is important. And when you're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe here. But hit up my Discord. This way, whenever anything new comes out and YouTube doesn't tell you, you'll find out because my Discord will go insane. And I will fully join in on that and I'd be absolutely ecstatic. I'm here because I like Warhammer. But more importantly, I like TTS. I like Alpha's humor. I like his storytelling. I like everyone he brought into it. I like the voice actors he did. I like every single bit of the world and the universe he built. Make sure you let him know that as well, because right now it's going to be a very hard time. And knowing that he has a base of really diehard fans who will stick around is maybe not everything, but God knows it's going to help. So make sure you do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. And hopefully on better terms next time. Uh, we can only hope.